Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Something like that. That's yeah. that's right. <laughs> well, I, I don't know who this cash owner is, but she's probably going to wonder what I'm talking about when I said I found this after peeing on some tanks. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they if they live, if they just lived out of a skeet, they may know what you're talking about. <laughs> so the name Dr. J is pretty obvious. Yeah. Your name's Jay. You got yep. a PhD. Mm -hmm. So you're a big Julius Serving fan. Well, kind of, yeah. I mean, that actually <laughs> is why I did that. Um, I always, when I growing up, Dr. J was kind of one of my heroes, just simply because the name Jay. I actually got to see him play in like 1973 or something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Where was, was that at? It was in New York. He was oh, playing okay. for the. For the Nets when it was part of the Oh, NBA. yeah, that's right. Yeah. I wonder if it, maybe that pile of rocks right there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's screaming. It's one of those diabetes. Yeah, somebody's got diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> P-O-R. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> <can get> <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I loosened it up for you. <laughs> God, you write J's weird. <laughs> you go from the bottom up? Oh, that I've is never good. heard of that before. <laughs> it's from Richfield. <laughs> it's a severe kind of thing. What's today? Seven. Seven. Didn't you lo didn't you put the date on the last one? <laughs> They're gonna accuse me of lying. There wasn't, yeah, they will. <laughs> there wasn't enough soggy <laughs> room left over. <laughs> They're gonna say you didn't really find that on the seventh, on the day you found all the others on the road. <laughs> how did the how did the streaking become a thing? Did that happen organically? You just start finding one a day, and then well, it was this was way back. I I I, I used to keep a spreadsheet mm -hmm. that log that kept track of every how many caches I found on each day, and so I I had just come off what turns out to be my longest slump. It was eleven days without having found a cache, and so yeah. I go. Where it is now, 4,791 days later. Now, now you really have to keep going. Now I because, really do. Yes. Because now no, you're that guy. There's pressure on me. Yes. Well, I'll admit there are days where I go, oh, I gotta go find a cat. <laughs> Well, and it's t and it's, and you don't and you're not exactly live in a location where it's just like perfect weather every day either. No, you know, uh -huh. it's gonna be dust. Oh crap! I got one of these things. Ooh. Those are those are those are fun. You have a lot of those in Minnesota, don't you? Oh, yeah, plenty. <laughs> Tons of those. Where are you from in Minnesota? I was born in Rochester, Minnesota. Oh, really? Home of the Mayo Clinic. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, actually, I moved around a lot because my dad worked for IBM. So, spent uh, a year or so in Minnesota, then down to Raleigh, North Carolina, and then okay. up to Poughkeepsie, New York. And then, uh, about junior high, we moved back to Minnesota, Austin, Minnesota, the home of Spam. Oh, really? And so that's, yeah, that's where Spam was wow. invented. So that's my, our town's claim to fame. And that's where I graduated from high school. So southeastern Minnesota, I did my undergrad work up in northern Minnesota, right across the river from Fargo, don't you know? <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, and the people there really do talk like that. I've, I've had people ask me, now they don't really talk. Oh yeah, they go, don't you know? <laughs> so. And then I uh, did my graduate work in Milwaukee, 
and spent 10 years down in South Florida and finally ended up in Utah. How does somebody get into political science? I had a very warped childhood. <laughs> <laughs> my, my father was a politician. Of really? Sorts. Yeah, he, okay. ran for, he ran for town council, so uh, in, in the town that we lived in New York, they, their local elections were partisan. Hmm. So he would bring me along to my very first political caucus. I was nine years old. Wow. And I was, well, I guess I was a prop. Uh, he, <laughs> token white boy. <laughs> just token child. Uh, yeah, there you go. He, he knew going into that caucus he was going to be nominated uh, for the uh, for, for for the 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 seat to run that year. It hmm. was uh, 1974, so it was the Watergate year. Okay. And uh, so I saw my dad get nominated uh, to run for town council and then he lost miserably. Huh. You know, a Democrat running in 1974 and lost. Wow. <laughs> like, that tells you how Republican the town was that we lived in. <laughs> so did you have political aspirations yourself? Oh God, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, none of that. No, huh? the, in political science, there's this saying that we've studied enough politics to know that we'll never want to run for office. No. That's the way to keep people out of politics. Yeah, that's huh? right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I used to have a cartoon on my on my office door that said, one day you'll realize that the people who are actually capable of running the country are smart enough to know not to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some more Neil Diamond here. Mr. Bojangles. Wow. Is, is that his? Is that Neil Diamond? He's not the one that made it. Made I thought it, it was like he, Sammy Davis Jr. or something. I know, Jim, Jim Stafford had one. Yeah. I have seen a Neil Diamond concert, actually. Were there any hands touching hands? And there were no hands touching hands. <laughs> even now, I don't even know if you could do that now. No. Corona apocalypse. CDC will get on you. Yeah. Touching hands. Yeah, I put one up in Parallel and the <laughs> punk rock girl said there was one too close. <laughs> 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 I want to put a Neil Diamond cash here. Join the crowd. Hands. Hands touching, touching hands. hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, okay, so. You found a loophole. List it. Let's get where there's phone <laughs> oh, yeah, service. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah. we'll come back. <laughs> get a first to find. Now, that's got to be hard with the streak and the first to find thing. I, How do you find that balance? I, I, ultimately, the balance started to tip towards the streak. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't go to first of finds like I used to. Yeah. Um, because yeah, at some point, and and this was actually one of the rules that my wife laid down on the caches that she placed. She yeah. says you can't get first to find on. <laughs> if you log a first to find on, I will delete your log. It's like okay. <laughs> settle down. Settle down. <laughs> oh, nice. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we say a prayer Camouflage. now or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have to consecrate it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We have a reviewer. You, you can bless it. <laughs> it's good. It's touching cactus. Reaching out. Poking me. <laughs> Poking you. This, this, this bumpy road and all this water and bacon I've had today. <laughs> really good mix. It's creating the perfect storm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> TJ, what's your favorite cache ever? <laughs> oh man. Uh, Better be mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it was a it was a 35 millimeter uh, film <laughs> Film canister. Canister uh, and a, a fence in a ditch on a right on the other side. Probably. That looks like a ladder going in, so it's like a swimming pool. Yeah. <laughs> Did you bring your speedo? Well, you're all guys. <laughs> oh, this way? Wow, that's actually surprisingly deep. Do you trust that ladder? Is that just like thin wire that it's yeah, held on with? It's wire. It's it's what? Wire. It's actually pretty thick wire. Well, this is fascinating footage. Yeah. I just need about three more hours of this and I'll yeah. be set. <laughs> Welcome to the giant hole show. I'm Jay. We just, just stood around long enough 
Jake would do something he'd, stupid. He'd make, <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> There's a formula for that. Time plus Jacob. <laughs> I knew I was here. <laughs> he was? Well, he yeah, was. That's what he's doing. That's, that's actually why I started signing the logs years ago as J, Dr. J was here. Kind of a play on Kilroy was here. Now you're getting picky. I'm left handed. Well, none of, us, none of us have shaved today, so. Well, I haven't shaved in a while. <laughs> I've been forbidden from shaving. My wife has told me that if I shave my beard off, she's divorcing me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> America's funniest home videos. Here we go. <laughs> It'll break as soon as you hit the bottom rung. And then you'll never be able to get out. What is that? We're just going to leave. <laughs> we'll say, see you, Jacob. I'm going to go pee on some tanks. <laughs> well, what do you see? Is it everything you hoped and dreamed for? <laughs> There's a bottle to your right there, Jacob. Looks like it's filled with urine. Urine, <laughs> <laughs> the urine or gasoline? Okay, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> one taste that, I <laughs> yeah, I give it the taste test. Yeah. We could have finished this this whole power power trail. We wouldn't have spent four hours in the hole. Watch Jacob play with garbage. <laughs> no, I'm gonna draw write my name like a normal human being from the top down. We're just looking at this Joshua tree. Yeah. <laughs> well, we really like trees. <laughs> We're making notes about this tree. You're so pretty. <laughs> saying that Laura Lee was punk rock girl yeah. so that was actually in reference to her that's why she should have been there so she could have been there when she outed herself <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> so now can we call Jim Laura Lee <laughs> yes yep. princess I'll answer, I'll answer to anything princess zero <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you I was punk rock girl years before Bruce Jenner made his transformation <laughs> so I did it first yep. elections but yeah. now it's really turned into right this there? this yeah. enterprise huh. a lot of people get involved in. uh, and yours you, you teamed up with somebody else right well yeah my 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 uh my uh, advisor in graduate school that was an election which <laughs> nobody got right huh. um but then when we, we adjusted it for 2004 and we nailed it we got huh. 2004 2008 2012 we were perfect on 2012 yeah and then 2016 happened. <laughs> and that, that was an anomaly for well, everybody, yeah, right? See, but in the meantime, between 12 and 16, I had developed another one. So I had a problem. Okay. And the one I did by myself got it right. It said that Trump would win. But of course, I didn't believe it because nobody else did. Sure. So I stopped talking about it. And now I'm going, well, damn it, I should have talked about that more. <laughs> <laughs> that would have that would have launched you into undying fame. Oh gosh, I would have been on Fox News every day. <laughs> Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, now if I remember right, last time I was down here, as soon as you hit the hit the shade, 
you get the small, you get the strong s smell of urine. Anybody got a blue light? <laughs> <It's like> <laughs> <laughs> Hit this really hard, do I? I'm gonna stand over here and film it first. <laughs> it breaks really easy because I was popping pieces off. That's, There's been a lot of fires. That's, that's a load-bearing crumb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, that comes right up. Yeah, it does. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, that's comforting. I'm glad we discovered that after. Especially this big pile right here. Yep. You, yeah. you knew that fell from somewhere, right? I thought that this was This would be an opportune time for an earthquake right now. <laughs> Why? Because I'm underneath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there's, yeah, that crack isn't disconcerting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jacob, can you carry me? <laughs> Uh, so, a girl has been here because it's a sparkling seltzer. <laughs> what about a Michelob Ultra? Oh, please. No. <laughs> hey, that's, that's a, a that's a tiny can. That's a St. Louis beer. <laughs> <laughs> and no. It's Milwaukee or not. I'm not familiar with it. As far as beer. As far as the mass <laughs> food. Like, American connoisseur is yeah. here. How many different kinds of beers have you tried, Jay? You have the list. Uh, I'd have to get where I have cell service, but <laughs> I've logged over a thousand different beers. So is that what that little badge that comes yes. up on? Yep. That's a di is that a different beer? That's, different. that's that when is, you try something new? That is, well, it's, there's... Or a lot of ones. The, 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 the app is untapped. Okay. It's basically social media for beer drinkers. <laughs> They're like so. There's like challenge, yeah. challenges. So it's like ten, ten different kinds in one day. Try to find, well, yeah, there is one where so it's you, just like caching. If you log <laughs> twenty different beers in a day, you get a special prize for that one. Huh. I did that one when I was in Europe. So what's the volume that meets the criteria? Well, you can do little tasters. Okay. That big, you know, when you go to a brewery and they. And that counts. Four different tasters in a flight. By by the twentieth, you you probably can't remember you're supposed to log. Well, that night <laughs> that I did that was our last night in Europe. Uh, I forgot where I put my glasses that night. Yeah. And I had to go find a cast. I just them in the shower. That's when I take them off in the shower. In the shower? Yeah. And I'd left them on the... Not like in the bathroom. No, in the shower I took them off. <laughs> because I forgot to take them off before I got in the shower, which then gets back to Jacob's question. Why did you forget? 20 beers in a day, that's why mm -hmm. I forgot. <laughs> so I was wearing my wife's glasses <laughs> in the Czech Republic to find my last cash before I came home. That was an adventure. Huh. So you guys want to walk over to this cache? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where, 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 where are we geocaching? Is that where we're doing? It's almost 400 feet away. Oh my god. Jeez. Should we set up rules for who we're going to cannibalize first if we don't make it back? Everybody goes quiet. No, <laughs> hey, no. I was just thinking I'm probably with that. I was getting ready to offer cash for somebody else. I don't have any cash. I gave them all. I gave it all to the uh, the servers at Golden Corral because I felt so guilty making them stay there so long. <laughs> with your heaping plate of bacon. Yeah. I'm guilty that you took it on and didn't. Well, I ate as much as I could out of what I took. Yeah. So, Chris threw out the challenge mm -hmm. of 70, and you hit what, 60 what? 65. 65. Yeah. And that was the, that was the hurl threshold? It was getting to that point. It was more, <laughs> honestly, it was more my wife was getting mad that we were the only people still there. <laughs> but yeah, I was getting close. I mean, I had a... I had a hiccup, and it felt like it was going to be more than a hiccup. I thought, okay, I'm done. I don't actually want this to happen. You know? That would create that would create an awkward situation, I guess. There, golden crown. Yeah, that, that would be some awesome YouTube footage. Uh, we, we that's. Could, we could have had a Mr. Creosote. 
soap situation on our hands. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Way for thin mints, huh? He's just half our height. <laughs> Easy short walk west of the sinkhole. Should be able to park your cash near the sinkhole. Make sure to not park in the sinkhole, though. That's good Thanks advice. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> I smell a divorce coming. <laughs> Who do you want to live with, mommy or daddy? <laughs> and you really thought that was a good idea. Yeah, in retrospect, I probably should have just done a 3,000. Found the found the middle of them and say, hey, show me every cash within 10 miles. But I'm just stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> Yeah, if I know I'm going to a remote area alone, I'm I'm going to use my GPS. That way, I save battery life on my phone in case I need it. But I'm with three other people. I don't <laughs> all with <laughs> dead phone really batteries. <laughs> <going around. laughs> it's really close to. You. I don't remember this road being this long. I know. <laughs> you stop every time. soccer again. <laughs> I'm reloaded. A store in that hole. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. I don't know if I'm buying what they're selling. Well, how's it look? Holy what the heck is this thing? Water. I asked for what the name of the cash was, and he shows me a broken beer bottle. Oh, that's very helpful. Dick. Broken dreams. I don't think we are going to. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was, it was a rock that looked out of place. As soon as you said, this, this looks kind of weird, I turned and I could see. <laughs> if you walk through the garden, you better watch your back. Yeah, I was very thankful to uh, Sir Gerald when he put those Burma Shave Cash, that Burma Burma Gate, Burma Cave, Burma Shave Cash. Uh, uh, series up in up an American Fork this these past few months because I would go up and get one and, and the next day I'd go get another one and yeah. so he he extended my streak by a month just with those caches. Wow. Sir Gerald, there's an old school yeah. old school cacher that kind of disappeared for a while but now he's kind of kind of come back. Yes he has. He's been coming to events and it's good to see him back. Brings his wife to cat to events for the same reason I bring my wife to cat to events. That way, sh they can do all the talking. <laughs> oh, I'm just watching this tick that's crawling on me now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah. Did you pull 
started crawling across my glasses. Holy <laughs> crap. Yeah. Maybe you should get it out. Well, it's crawling on my phone right now. I'm just walking, I'm just giving him room to run here. <laughs> Yikes. Don't flick it forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll just let him crawl off on you. <laughs> yeah, don't flick it. Oh, out. that is so nasty. It makes me want to jump out of the car right now and strip down. <laughs> well, it does make me wonder if he has friends crawling around on me right now. Oh, that is, that is so creepy. Up in the tree, I think. So I'd like to go to the tech check. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> I know. It's bad when you see one of those. All of a sudden you feel them crawling all over you. Yeah, all, all of a sudden. Okay. Let's go find a public city park and I'll strip down. <laughs> We're just looking for ticks. Yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> on camera. Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Run, boy, you're free now. There you go. Find your friends. <laughs> They're about 30 miles away. <laughs> that that whole take a picture of you with your GPS. Yeah. I, uh, it doesn't work so much anymore. <laughs> it, it really doesn't. Uh, uh, okay. I think you will. So I think you'll. That will suffice. Yeah. I'm sure, it will. Check the Rama. We could go there next year. Yeah, yeah Chuckarama, <laughs> Golden Corral for breakfast and Chuckarama for dinner, yeah. <laughs> and then a toilet for the next three days. I'm, I'm still full for breakfast. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> uh. And to just give to testimony to just how much sodium I've had today, I have now drank three liters of water and I still don't have to pee. <laughs> When you finally need to pee, let's go down to Nevada again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make another trip. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> for a 30 second game of soccer. Mm -hmm. Put out that fire. <laughs> oh boy. Well, thanks, fellas. Well, thank you. It was a good time. Yeah, yeah thanks. We'll see you next March. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Drive safe.